Hello everybody, welcome back by a new video and today it's time for another collection video. And this time about the Industria 86.825, which is a ridiculous name for a fixture. Um, but the fixture itself is actually really cool and um, I think the coolest part about this is that I replaced it myself. So here's a, a picture of the fixture when it was still on the pole. And these are actually quite rare and I saved uh, five more of these and uh, most are going to other collectors but there are, st there are still one or two that don't really have a destination so if there's anyone in the Netherlands interested in uh, this fixture then make sure to hit us up on DM or something. But yeah this is a, a fluorescent fixture and it's actually really standard, I mean design is nothing too uh, interesting which uh, I kind of like. And this fixture is also really similar to the Industria uh, 2700 fixtures, which um, in my opinion look uh, worse. I mean, I don't think those are as cool and they aren't as old as these are. The uh, front of the fixture is like a lot more flat than uh, this fixture is. Outside of that, there are really no differences between the uh, unit itself. There's also no difference. But yeah, I don't know. I just like these ones better. And actually another fun fact is, um, so we, we replaced six of these in total, uh, seven, we replaced seven of these in total and um, I spent like for each fixture like half an hour trying to get this uh, thing off the pole properly, which is, it's really not easy, it's a very, I mean for, I know in England this is pretty uh, usual, but for Dutch standards the uh, wide of this where the pole has to go in is like it's very small compared to uh, a lot of other poles and also it was just really difficult uh, to get this thing off especially because it's a quite fragile fixture once it's taken apart the condition of the fixture itself is actually really uh, really decent still for its age it's like 60 years old or something there's still some of the original uh, colors on there um, which is this grey color but not much and uh, the clips actually seem to be made out of copper uh, looking at the color and the bowl itself is made out of plastic quite fragile um, but still clear which is nice so let's open the fixture itself which it has uh, four clips which uh, go open quite easily still after all those years and then what is kind of annoying about this fixture is that you, you cannot really uh, get the bowl off the fixture it just opens like this which um, made replacing the fixture actually quite uh, quite annoying and with one of the fixtures, that's why I only uh, saved seven, the ball actually fell off and uh, broke. But yeah, um, let's bring the camera a bit closer. And we have um, two fluorescent tubes in here. They are not very standard fluorescent tubes, which um, most of the tubes that were in were broken. That's why the uh, fixtures got replaced. So I have a lot of missing tubes and a whole lot of uh, spare tubes. But they are called T TLS bulbs, um, which have a very interesting, um, which are normally two pins. This one is, I don't know what it is, just very, very different. Also seems like it's just one pin in the middle right here, if this thing focuses. But yeah, um, here we have some information. Philips TLS 20 watt, um, gold white, which is the 33 color code and this one is a bit of a newer uh, TLS bulb but still been used for a long time Philips TLS 20 watt uh, 640 uh, which is the newer color code so yeah same story with the unit we have uh, two screws right here which um, can unscrew and then pull them back which opens the unit but again um, this unit also opens and can't really can't really get it out of the uh, 
fixture itself, which is also quite annoying. So I'll try to record it like this, it's not the best footage, but um, I have to replace the cable right here because it's uh, <laughs> the old cable that had all the copper wiring visible and stuff. Because this fixture is really, really old. Um, somehow the fuse didn't pop, so it um, still was working when we uh, replaced it, but um, could have ended way worse. And I have uh, six more fixtures where I need to uh, fix the wiring off, so wish me luck on that. <laughs> I might make a video of fixing the uh, unit in one of them. There's one that looks like actually terrible. And I think it might be actually fun to uh, make a video about connecting that thing. But yeah, let's put the tubes back in and um, turn this thing on. I have to be very careful with these tubes because um, we don't have a lot of them. And they're also fragile. Like this. We have both the names visible. So let's turn the fixture itself on. Um, the startup is nothing special. They are very not very bright uh, fluorescents. I think an 18 watt standard uh, fluorescent is more bright than this thing is. But still, they are very cool fixtures. Um, the stripes. The fluorescents are also pretty funny, which uh, makes it easier to uh, recognize it as a uh, TLS tube. But yeah, the bowl uh, itself makes the uh, tubes look even less bright. Um, yeah, it's just a very cool fixture. <laughs> and also very small. Um, it's like not even 10 centimeters wide, which is incredible um, for a fixture you can put many of these in your collection if you want but yeah sadly they are uh, extremely there just i know that one that's still there but i don't know if it's uh, been replaced in the meantime which uh, i could imagine and now that my neighbor is listening to christian rock music um i think it's time to end this uh, video so thanks for watching have a nice day let me know uh, what you think about the fixture and if you have an uh, interest in one of these fixtures then let me know and thanks for watching have a nice day